Among the various practices that we have started in this online classes, the virtual field trips are the most important. They are enjoyed very much by our students. Inculcating these virtual field trips in our language classes, we have seen the students communicating a lot. They bring forward various interesting facts about these places and they definitely bring forward their unique perspective about these trips. So I found it really interesting to take my students to these places, taking some virtual trips through these places that helps them to know the world, know their country better, and even improves their communication, expression, and imagination. So let's see. When peak season, the Great Wall of China is an ancient series of walls and fortifications totaling more than 13,000 miles in length. Located in northern China, perhaps the most recognizable symbol of China is its long and it's impossible to climb, climb from there. Even if you try, see they are broken. Can you all see? Ma'am, ma because it is once you sleep, you straight away fall. Fall and die. <laughs> You're going to die. See, it's dangerous. Ma'am, the body would not be able to find. Yes, nobody would be able even to find your body. This is above the giant spot. Very above it. How it look from there? jungles and many things so so that you can send those wild animals directly to the Coliseum those wild people directly to the Coliseum okay there are many tunnels and underground there were the underground the Coliseum were the prisons where the wild animals and the people were kept okay and after that the fight used to take place now let's take a walking tour inside it It was so large and so beautiful also. See, these were the places where the audience used to uh, sit. Or of the work are known as the Flavian dynasty and the amphitheater was named the Flavian amphitheater. The Coliseum is built of tower, thin limestone, tough volcanic yes, rock. We have, seen, we have seen in the video that the stones were so thin, right? With the, with the bricks that it was made, not like the usual bricks with which we make the houses. The bricks were so thin. Okay. Yes, sir. And the Coliseum could hold an estimated 50,000 to 80,000 spectators at various points in its history, having an average audience of some 65,000. Can you imagine 65,000 audience at that time it used to hold? The cheer, the sound it created. Can you imagine?